the breaking news story this morning uh, and afternoon. Dr. Nandi Pamakudumana remaining behind bars. Her application to have her deportation from Tanzania and her arrest declared unlawful were dismissed. Home Affairs Minister Dr. Aaron Mozwaledi joins me now just to get reaction from him in terms of today's judgment. Dr. Mozwaledi, you were obviously cited as a respondent after asking the court uh, for a postponement when you were not actually cited as a respondent um, uh, originally. Just your initial reaction to today's judgment. Uh, Marcelo, thank you very much. And thank you to the listeners and viewers. We, we are very grateful. We are very happy, actually. We are very glad. Because, Marcelo, we were not cited, if you remember. Yes. We were not cited. We are the ones who fought mm. to be cited. We didn't ask for a postponement. But the court agreed that now that we are being cited, they are postponing the matter to give us a, a chance to depose Avidavits, which we, we very gladly did. Mm. We were worried that if we are not cited, an injustice might happen just on the basis of technicalities. And uh, I'm sure you are aware that was going to dampen the spirit of, of, of the public. I was listening to, 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 to your interview with attorney Zola Majavu, and I agree with him on most of the things. Mm. But on the other hand, we cannot hide from the fact that the public gets hurt when they believe there's no justice in the country, when they believe people who do wrong things cannot be apprehended. I mean, here is a lady, I know that is still an allegation, but we, we, me and you know, here is a lady who is a medical doctor, no heart, who went around stealing corpses all around including that of burying and, and the pain that the parents and relatives are going through. If they were to see her marching scot-free because some technicality somewhere was found, it dampens the spirit of people. They start wondering whether there's ever justice anywhere in this country. So that's why we are so glad and relieved that our intervention in home affairs eventually mm -hmm. paid off. Mm, and uh, Dr. Mazzoli, the, uh, the court today, the High Court in Bloemfontein, finding that she was in fact uh, extradited from Tanzania and not deported. Are you not concerned that on that part he found her right and she might appeal and maybe win the appeal or sue the state? Well, we were expecting them to appeal yeah, uh, uh, all the time from what we could gather from the utterances we were expecting the case to go very high up. Uh, we'll still fight it up there. Remember this, according to the way we had the judge in, in, in making a remark about it, it's something that is also a technicality. On our side, we as Home Affairs did not go to Tanzania. We were called there. We were not party to this uh, because right from the beginning, we were not involved in the matter. But the Tanzanians called us because they said they will never, they have declared them prohibited in Tanzania. They will never hand them to police or the army or any of their, their vehicles because that will be tantamount to a rendition. They can only hand them over to immigration officers. And immigration officers in the country are only in home affairs. We understood that very well. Because even Asia and South Africa, when we deport people back to their countries, we send them to Lindela, the party, I mean, a, 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 what you call a deportation center. And then from Lindela, we call their embassies. And then after identifying them, we drive them over to the border and hand them over to none other than immigration officers of that particular country. Even when we've hired a chartered flight, when we arrive in that country, we hand them over to immigration officers. In this case, that's how we understood it and hired a chartered flight and went to Tanzania. And the processes happened. If there is any technicality, which we may not have been aware of, it's not something that was planned or was done deliberately. As the claim here is that uh, we colluded with the mm -hmm. Tanzanians. We believe Tanzanians had the right to take a decision about what must happen to people who entered their country illegally. And the decision they took, yes, the decision they took was that they prohibit them and they want them out of their country uh, uh, escorted. And they are giving us only three days to do so. Basically, that's what we have done. So yeah. we have had, and as 
Attorney Zolama Javu said that uh, maybe authorities must also be extra careful. It's a learning curve that will look in future whether we cover all the corners or we don't inadvertently. Because in this case, what the judge said, I think, if it's true, uh, it's like that. If it get, get confirmed to be like that, it's something that happened inadvertently. Not something that we said and say we are going to collude with the Tanzanians to do something uh, about bringing people back here at home. We were just following what yeah. the Tanzanian government has decided about what is good for them. And we believe they've got the right to do what's good in, on their soil. Mm. But do you agree, Minister, uh, with the court saying that this was an extradition? No, we don't think so, because we don't think we're extraditing. If we knew that we were extraditing, uh, we're extraditing and we would have followed procedures of extradition because they are there. So we, we, we don't regard ourselves as having extrad anybody. We are by taking heed of the fact that the judge made that remark. But eventually, when he made the ruling, he did not say this is an extradition. He made the ruling about it that uh, home affairs might not have been, I mean, the authorities rather, might not have been aware that what may do might be regarded extradition. But the final ruling is that what we did was correct. Mm. All right. So um, the court also found that there were contradicting statements by uh, the High Commission. What's your response to that? He said there are things that contradicted uh, themselves in, in, the, in the affidavits that were handed in as, from you as a respondent or your department, rather. Just come, ag just come again, Marcel. The court, the court found that uh, there were contradicting statements in terms of the High Commission. What's your response to that? Well, we, we, we accept uh, because the judge showed the contradictions that there were two statements that are contradicting each other. But luckily, Marcel, he said then that because of that, that evidence is not accepted in court and it was set aside. So the decisions that remained were not based on, on the affidavit of the High Commission. And we believe it was uh, uh, quite unfortunate that something like that happened. It might be that it was the use of words here uh, that uh, rendered that affidavit in that regard from the, the third, uh, what do you call, the third secretary in the commission to mm. be unacceptable uh, to the court of law. Mm. All right, uh, Minister, I just want you to clarify something for me. So you confirm, obviously, that, uh, uh, you know, and this was part of your argument as a respondent, that you did receive uh, letters from the authorities in Tanzania to say that they want uh, Tabo Besta and Nandi Pamagudumana out of Tanzania within three days. And she says her shock was that uh, the, 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 the arrest, or rather her uh, extradition, now that the court has called it that, even though you disagree for now, um, that it happened just moments after that letter was sent to South Africa. Um, I just need clarity from you, Minister, in terms of the sequence of events that happened there. Did, it, did the letter arrive and immediately she was arrested within an hour or so uh, from Tanzania and brought back here? Uh, and uh, secondly... You know, speaking to what Zolama Jabu also said, um, does that speak to the South African government uh, wanting to do things uh, as fast as possible to make sure that uh, you're able to keep the public's confidence in the system? Minister, can you still hear us? Yeah, you were cut off. You disappeared in the last few seconds. I, <laughs> Apologies I for that. In the last few seconds. But I think I got, I got the gist of your question. Marcel, the Tanzanian police have already arrested these people. By the time we heard that they are in Tanzania, they were arrested. Remember, mm. it is said that they were advancing towards the Kenyan border. And that's when Tanzanian police confronted them and arrested them. The people who went there first uh, on the 9th, is the South African police services with their own plane. They went to Tanzania. We did not go because we were not part of, of this whole, uh, 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 I mean, this whole process. Mm. But then our high commissioner phoned and said, no, the Tanzanians have declared these people as prohibited people, and they are not prepared to hand them over to, uh, I mean, prohibited people who must be deported, not extradited, de extradited, deported 
to their country of birth, which is South Africa, and they must be deported uh, uh, so uh, under escort. That's what they were told Tanzanians have agreed. And they said they'll only hand them over to immigration officers, officials. That is when we started scattering around to look for a chartered flight to go to Tanzania because when they say immigration, they mean home affairs. That's why we took that decision because we've been informed so that they were declared uh, prohibited and they need to leave the country. And the country they must go to is their country of birth, which is South Africa, because they've already been identified to be coming from there. The judge then said, if they did not want to, because they said, in deportation, you can go to any country. If they did not choose to come to South Africa, they should have resisted, and it should have been known that they were abducted. There was no abduction here because there was no resistance. Uh, there, there was no protestation that we can't go back to South Africa, we can go back anywhere. But the Tanzanians have already decided that whichever way they, mu they must leave their soil, they must leave their country. But yeah. it so happened that they knew that they were South Africans. That's why they said they must leave to South Africa. So we don't think there, there was any hasty de uh, decision making here. We did not rush in and do yeah. any hasty decision making. We did things as we understood them, according to what the Tanzanians were dictating, because this, this offense, of entering their country illegally happened on their soil.